Hey everybody. Here is a Seagate Momentous hard drive, two and a half inch notebook hard drive, 250 gig um, storage. And this is a bad hard drive. Come out of a Toshiba satellite notebook that was dropped. Had a broken nail CD screen too. So that hard drive had to get replaced along with the LCD screen. And I figured, hey, we're going to take this hard drive apart and have a look inside. Just for the heck of it. Show what the inside of a notebook hard drive looks like. First thing I'm going to do is going to take this PCB off the bottom. With a little bit of screws. Phillips had screws on here. I'll take these off. Now I'm going to lift the PCB off. Should just lift right off. And here's a look at the PCB of a laptop hard drive. Notice they got all this protection stuff on here. Obviously, because there's such a small clearance between the hard disk and the PCB. Right here are the contacts for the motor. So well, appears to be some cache memory. Typically nowadays on hard drives you'd find between 8 to 64 megs of cache. Usually 32 or 64 being the most common with today's hard drives. And right here appears to be possibly maybe a little processor of some sort. Anyways, let's kind of set that to the side. This is what the hard drive looks like without the PCB attached. Right here are some contacts and I believe these go obviously to the right head assembly, the read right head assembly. That also moves back and forth. And here are the contacts on the PCB. As you can see they're right there. I'll go ahead and flip this over. We'll go ahead and take the top off the hard drive and have actually where you can see the disk. These are really small Torx bit screws. And I got this screwdriver that has those particular bits. Notice we have four different pieces of metal. <laughs> and each piece of metal has two different size um, types on it. I mean sizes. And that's the one we need right there. So I'm going to stick this back in here. And just stick this in the screwdriver. Obviously it's a cobalt that tells you you get this from Lowe's. It's like their, their house brand of tools. At least I haven't seen cobalt tools anywhere else besides Lowe's. I'm going to take these screws out and we'll get to have a look inside a notebook hard drive. And you'll be amazed at how much stuff they can cram inside of one of these. I mean, there's not really that much to it, but still. Now, in some cases, the actual cover might reply you might have to use some prying force to get it off. Because these things usually have like a sealant in them because you can't have any sort of dust inside these hard drives that'll contaminate them. Like a while back I had a Western Digital hard drive, it was an older 160 gig hard drive IDE interface and the particular case I installed it into um, had very sharp edges on the hard drive mounts and I just happened to get a little too low in terms of sliding the hard drive in and the little tabs in the case slid, um, made it put a nice slice right in the sealant between the cover and the hard disk. And then of course I set that hard drive on my um, desk which shows no important files or anything on it. I decided to plug up, I'd say a few months ago and it was click, 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 click. So all it takes is a little bit of dust. 
course this in here is already failed so we might actually see some damage in here normally hard disk when you see their platters are like a mirror they're perfectly shiny and sometimes they can be hidden stickers I mean hidden screws under the sticker so I'm gonna take all these stickers off that's the warranty sticker we don't need that anymore let's see if I can get this off okay there's the inside of a hard disk and you're probably asking where's the right head it's right there sorry you can't see what I'm doing here there's the right head it's in the park position I'll give you a close look here you can see there's a piece of plastic here that the head parks in to protect it this is what you would expect to find in a notebook hard drive because obviously notebooks are being carried around and getting dropped and that kind of stuff so when your laptop is turned off the hard drive is less susceptible to failure if um, your computer gets dropped because when it's turned on this head is not parked it's usually doing something on the disk and when you drop your laptop it can jar everything out of alignment so there's a look at the shiny platter you can see me in the background you can see the camera right there as I mentioned it's like a mirror it's so shiny so let me go ahead and grab a desktop hard drive to show you the difference between the two of these right here is a 20 gigabyte Maxter three and a half inch <clears throat> hard drive obviously there's dust and stuff on this player because it's been sitting on my desk on my dresser for a few years now but I haven't got any thumbprints on it yet the PCB is still on this and I haven't bothered to take it off there's your good little size comparison of the two hard drives a laptop hard drive versus a desktop hard drive now of course obviously the capacities of these two are much different but if you look at a brand new hard drive you wouldn't see much of a difference unless you had a hard drive that had multiple platters these are both single platter drives it's amazing how much technology has come over the years if you notice this head does not park off of the disc like this drive here does it only goes between here and here and the disc spins in this direction clockwise while this one spins counterclockwise this one spins at 7200 rpms this one spins at 5400 rpms now some <clears throat> notebook hard drives are sending 200 rpms this one's just 5400 I went ahead and pulled the read right head out of the parking position so that way you can get a closer look at the plastic parking spot it has it's a really good up close look at this And I think what I'll also do is take it, I mean, take everything in here apart too to show you. So, first thing I'll do is um, see if I can get this right head out of the way and take the platters loose from the drive. The excuse for having to put the camera so far away that's what happens when you have a piece of crap. Um, tripod that, that doesn't actually keep the camera stable very well I just push the player out of the way and let's see here if this is the same screw size yep that 
holding the disc still the platter I mean I'm taking the screw out that should yep that'll allow me to take the platters loose you're about to see some thumbprints get on these platters too in fact what I should have done in this video was leave the circuit board on and plug the, the drive and the power to watch so that way you can see it run Maybe excuse me for forgetting, for forgetting about that and we're going to flip this over and <clears throat> let the um, internal components fall out onto the cover Okay, it's just the, um, the cap. The planter is now loose. Notice how it doesn't want to easily come out. I think what's in the way is this parking piece. But here's a look at the cover, what it looks like on the inside. Notice there is like a seal around here. This is what got cut on that Western Digital Drive I mentioned earlier. So now I'm gonna take take this out. Now the platter should come right out. But obviously Okay, it wasn't being held back by a magnetic force. So this is what everything looks like when you take the platter out. The, here's the platter. <laughs> now this one here. Now I can't guarantee my accuracy here in terms of my thoughts, but I believe many notebook car jobs out there use glass platters with a metallic um, covering on them. Now desktop hard drives usually have metal platters. I think they make, I think they make very nice grinders. So I know in um, desktop hard drives you can usually find really nice magnets. But all that's left on this hard drive is really this to motor. And of course the right head assembly. So there's the motor. And here's the <clears throat> right head. So anyways, here's a general idea of how things look inside of a notebook hard drive. Two and a half inch hard drive. There's your platter. Very thin. Let's have a look at this, how thin that is. Extremely thin. Be careful not to break that. And of course, here is the metal frame, the motor assembly, the bottom. You notice here we got um probably another screw in here where I can take that right head out. I think as far as I'm gonna go with this. So I'm gonna get you a nice close up of that right head. Anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.